Well, hey team, Grant Hagen here with the Reality Capture Recap. Welcome in. It is Friday, March 22nd. If this is your first time joining us, welcome in. If this is, uh, you've been around here before, welcome back. Uh, great to see you again. My name is Grant, uh, for those of you that I haven't met, but welcome in. Uh, today we have some really fun things that we're going to talk about today. Uh, one, uh, I'm going to switch things up a little bit. One, because it's March and we're going to have some fun with this, uh, a little March Madness, but Two, uh, we, I just think as I was watching truly, uh, March Madness before I started filming this year, uh, there's just some really exciting things that we can talk about here. And uh, who doesn't get excited about this little jingle that we have going on here? Uh, this is gonna be really fun. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with the hot takes actually from the front end, and then we're gonna work our way back through a really kind of a fun thing. I was like, how do we uh, keep this fun, keep this lively here, uh, and just a fun way to maybe do some hardware brackets. Uh, which I want to camp on here a little bit here, uh, which kind of relays into the hot take. So uh, what I wanted to do is get right into the hot take here, uh, right out of the gate, uh, because I think this is kind of interesting. This is where I want to spend a little bit of time on uh, here today, because this is a hot take that uh, I would say kind of bothers me a little bit. And, and I want to hear uh, some folks down in the thoughts and comments below uh, around this idea of is reality capture just laser scanning? I hear that all the time. Uh, folks are like, oh yeah, reality capture, I laser scan. And I think the challenge that I have with that is I don't necessarily think that it's true. Uh, and I think some of the folks that may tune into this or see these or uh, get wind of these things uh, it would also agree with that. But uh, I think a really a, a cool thing that we have an opportunity to do in these recaps and educating folks, usually we go through um, you know, these kind of uh, best thing I saw and who's crushing it and all these things. But I just wanted to camp here for a little bit, start with a hot take maybe today and saying, hey, I think reality capture is greater than just laser scanning. Uh, and I think this is really interesting here and what we're actually going to talk about uh, in a little bit too. And just wanting to kind of elevate this idea here that, uh, you know, when you think about a reality capture stack or a tech stack, you have this thing over here. And I love this graphic, the most accessible to the most accurate. And laser scanning for sure is a part of that, right? Uh, it definitely makes sense. Uh, that's something that a lot of people are familiar with here. But as you work your way up this list, which is what I really like about this, and I got a minute left, uh, drone data, that's another form of reality capture. Ground 360 documentation or capture, that's another form of reality capture. And fixed cameras, one that I don't think a lot of people uh, get a lot of love about uh, and oftentimes get to talk about that much, I also think are another form of reality capture. Whether you agree with me or not, that is totally okay. But in this purpose or in this kind of discussion, what I wanted to talk about is just the hot take around that, hey, I think we don't maybe talk about reality capture enough outside of this idea of just laser scanning. Now, I may, I know this may uh, kind of spark some interest with some folks or spark some sparks, whatever we want to call and talk about it. But uh, I just think it's a really interesting thing to talk about. And as I was thinking about what we were going to talk about this week and uh, just some of the topics, ideas, uh, of course, because it's March Madness, I was like, you know what? Hey, let's uh, let's talk about this a little bit more. What do you mean uh, in saying reality capture is more than just laser scanning? Well, what I do, or what I want to do here is if I go back here to this list and uh, get through some of those hot takes is do kind of a fun idea here of some hardware brackets, uh, just some kind of ideas. We're in March. Bring in the graphic here. Uh, March Madness is alive and well. I hope your bracket isn't fully busted yet, but come on. Is this jingle? That's what I'm talking about. Get that jingle back. Uh, if that doesn't excite you that all things March are finally here, uh, then I really don't know what. And so what I wanted to do uh, to kind of lay this, uh, lay the land here a little bit for uh, this idea of bracketizing some of these other forms of reality capture is, uh, let me just switch to the screen over here. I'm gonna put six minutes on the clock. And the idea behind this was really just baked out of, I love March and I love March Madness. And so as I thought about some of these ideas of like, okay, what about the laser scanning space, the drone space, the uh, ground hardware space and fixed camera space. Uh, I was like, hey, like, I think these are things that you guys uh, should know about. If you don't already know, I think some of these names and things up here will be very familiar. Uh, which is great and i hope they are but if there are some new names on here it's like hey these are really uh, good opportunities for you to get to know more about these companies and what it is they're doing i will say uh, i did not rank these um i did not put them through a challenge here of uh you know who is number one who is number two three or four this whole intention uh, just like march uh, you should have your own opinions uh, you guys all fill out your brackets i'm sure uh, and you will have who your one seat is who your two seat is who goes through the whole bracket 
The intention here isn't to argue who is first or fourth in this list. The intention here really is to elevate these ideas that reality capture, in my opinion, uh, and I'm sure many others' opinions, uh, is more than just laser scanning. Uh, and that's what I really wanted to elevate here as a part of some of this. So let's dive into it. I've already used a minute of my time here, but uh, the fixed camera hardware region. Let's get into it here. True Look, Ox Blue, Sidekick, Evercam. If you haven't heard of any of these folks, uh, one, I would love to elevate some of them for you. Ox Blue, a great construction camera uh, tool that I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Sidekick, a little bit new into the scene, but also a really exciting uh, just hardware function that's out there as well, if you haven't heard about them. Uh, the other one that I would elevate here is Evercam. Uh, if you are familiar with them, they are another great uh, fixed camera solution. And then lastly, TrueLook, uh, another really good one uh, that I have been a customer of uh, in years past, uh, but also just think very highly of them. Uh, and so I just thought what was kind of interesting about this year too, is uh, just this idea of fixed cameras uh, is for sure its own region, I guess in this uh, March Madness bracket here. But if you haven't heard of these four, I would highly encourage you uh, to go research and look into which one of these uh, may fit your solution in your uh, reality capture tech stack. So let's get into the 360 camera region. Uh, we have some familiar names up here uh, that I'm sure many of you are familiar with, with Rico, Insta, 360, GoPro, Garmin. Uh, some of those are pretty well known uh, in the list here, but uh, Rico 360, man, they have some great cameras. If you haven't seen or heard them in the space, I uh, would encourage you to go check them out. They have some really great tools that uh, to really help elevate this idea of ground capture, uh, which is really uh, powerful and important in this space as you think about your whole reality capture tech stack as well. Insta360 may be one of the more popular ones uh, for good reason. They have a lot of great products out here. This is the X3, uh, which is a part of all of their lineup, uh, which many of you may be more familiar with their RS1 inch, uh, which is a great tool that we've seen uh, a lot of excitement and use around in the uh, ground 360 capture space. Garmin, uh, we're going to dial it back a little bit from old school sense. Uh, Garmin also had a 360 camera uh, way back in the day, and I'm sure many of you also knew GoPro uh, had some of those as well with their Max camera as well. Uh, again, I'm not going to put these through their region, but again, four great products that are out there in the hardware space uh, that I think you'd be encouraged by uh, that you should be thinking of or using. Let's move down into the drone hardware region. Uh, also, let's kind of keep moving through here. Uh, some heavy hitters on this list, many of which I'm sure you know with the top two in DJI and Skydio, but uh, Parrot and Alltail, those are also some really great ones as well that uh, I'll pull up in here. The Evo Max, uh, another great drone that's out there as well. Parrot, uh, also in this space uh, that if you haven't heard of them, they also have a really great drone as well. Uh, but what I like about this is the drone space is really rich. There's a lot of great hardware that's out there and a lot of great manufacturers that are doing some really exciting things in that space. Uh, I'm getting close to my time here at two minutes left, but let's move down into, um, actually, before I do that, in case you haven't heard, uh, I, I should sprinkle in a little bit of the, uh, uh, the what's on the horizon, another popular segment in what we typically do here. Uh, but a really exciting announcement from uh, DJI that's going to be presumably coming out soon. I think many of you maybe saw their teasers on here, uh, but was this uh, new hardware in this enterprise space? I think we can all maybe guess what this is. It looks like a dock solution, probably the dock two, if I were to guess, just looking at the picture here. Uh, but the exciting part about this is uh, next week. Uh, so for the uh, traditional or legacy reality capture recap fans of On the Horizon, uh, some really exciting things here that are gonna be announced uh, next week. Uh, on the drone space here as well. So, uh, and obviously Scottio, big fans of what they're doing over there uh, with the X10, just a really great drone uh, if you're interested in some of the specs here uh, in that space as well. So not to brush over the drone space, but uh, I got a minute left and I wanna get through these other two. Uh, scanning hardware region, I mean, these are obvious, a lot of uh, similar names and uh, ones that you've heard up here on the list, like a Faro Neves and uh, Trimble, all great tools in the platform. We talked about uh, a couple of these here on uh, the recap here before. Uh, but Trimble, you may not know, they also get into this 3D scanning space uh, with their X7, which is a great tool with the Trimble Field Link as well. I'm sure many of you have heard of Faro and all the different products that they have, from both the mobile side and the terrestrial side as well. The Viz, uh, if you've been here before, you know that we've talked about them and some of the amazing things that they're doing as well. Uh, but just again, something that to kind of consider as you're thinking about the scanning hardware region. But what I wanted to get to was this last one. And what's really neat about this is the robotics uh, hardware region. And what's cool about this is really what I wanted to do here was elevate. Uh, I'm sure many of you have heard of Boston Dynamics and Spot. Uh, that's great. Uh, Anybotics, which is another great um, uh, one to add into here. An another just great solution. It's kind of this red shell or casing here, uh, which is great. 
Uh, I really love what they're doing here too. Uh, Unitree, they're coming up on the scene. Uh, obviously, they're putting some prices and some bold statements out here as well with some of the costs, which is amazing, which would be amazing, uh, which is really exciting to see here as well. But one that I was actually elevated to, uh, I know I'm at my time here, we're getting close to the end, but uh, Super Droid Robots. I know that's a, an awesome, crazy name, uh, but I was actually uh, shown this uh, from a customer who was using this in a crawl space condition. Uh, into this space that I just thought was super interesting. Uh, kudos to the team. I think they're based out of North Carolina. Uh, some really cool stuff in this space. Uh, and just if you flip through here on some of them, where was it? There we go. The GPK 32 uh, crawl space inspection. Some really great lighting kits, uh, some really cool things on there as well. But the reason I wanted to elevate these guys as a part of uh, kind of this whole idea of these brackets over here on the left hand side, I uh, was really because these are the, the teams that are really helping automate the use of some of these other tools, whether it's the 360 cameras, uh, obviously the drone hardware is doing some really exciting things in automation, but also in the scanning side, uh, there's some really great things that uh, this team here is doing uh, to really help automate some of that stuff as well. So uh, I hope this was fun. I hope this was interesting. Uh, again, I'm not picking your brackets. You guys should go out and pick them yourselves, uh, which I also just think is really fun and interesting too. But uh, yeah, I, I hope that was fun. Uh, I love this time of March. I love all the fun things, basketball brackets. Uh, I hope you guys found this uh, somewhat interesting and fun as a part of it. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time, welcome in. Uh, if this is uh, the first time or that you're coming back, thanks for tuning in with us. Uh, I hope you guys were encouraged by these. Uh, if you haven't heard of some of these, go check them out. I'll put the links into the post as well. But thanks for tuning in and we will see you guys next week. I hope your brackets aren't totally busted yet. But if they're not by next week, we will talk to you soon.